hello guys so here are some red flag documents if you're coming into the u.s on a b2 visitors visa um number one if you have your resume in your bag and the cbp officer at the airport stops you and then they put you in secondary inspection and they inspect your bag and they find a resume or a cv um the question then arises like were you trying to come work on a visitor's visa that could um trigger uh, uh, you know f further scrutiny and then they could put you in expedited removal number two if you have documents such as your birth certificate school degrees that's also a red flag um number three if you have other people's government issued ids that screams of like fraud or misrepresentation or you're trying to come and do something shady in the u.s so don't have these type of documents also if you try to enroll your kids or your children in schools in the u.s while you guys are um on a visitor's visa or you will be on a visitor's visa they tend to question are you trying to stay here permanently why did you put your kids in school because the b2 visitor's visa is just for a temporary visit like less than six months so that is a red flag the next thing is you know tickets discrepancies so um you you know if you are coming in and you tell the officer oh i'm going to be here for in the u.s for two months and then they check your ticket and you have a six month ticket that's a problem or you say well, i'm going to be here for just three months and then you have a one-way ticket to the u.s it's like okay are you planning on never going back to your home country um so you have to be careful you have to make sure that what you what you tell the officer is actually consistent with the actual proof or the evidence on your ticket itself um the last thing and then lastly you need to make sure that your host or whoever you're coming to visit actually knows you're coming they will sometimes ask okay where are you going well they'll always ask you where are you going where are you headed and if you mention okay i'm headed to my sister she's called maybe beatrice or my brother you know they they could verify they could call your sister or your brother and if your sister is like i didn't know this person was coming or if you say you're coming for a conference they will sometimes call um, the people hosting the conference to check if you are registered or if you're coming to meet someone they will call and verify if you're truly coming to meet the person that's when you're putting secondary inspection they'll do all these checks so make sure that whoever you're coming to or, uh, to visit or coming to in the u.s is aware that you're actually coming on the date you're coming okay the b2 visitors visa is not a time to actually surprise someone like if they're going to be your host you have to let them know so that they can also in turn confirm it when um the so they can confirm it when the cbp officer calls them to verify all the best and follow me for more